Jeff is with us now on the heels of the milestone that is now in the books. Jeff, what was the highlight for you amidst everything that happened this evening? Uh, I don't know if you saw, there was a few videos out there, but uh, I don't know. It seemed, seemed like I, every time I looked up, there's a video from someone uh, from my past or someone that been instrumental, I think. Um, yeah, that meant a lot. I was very appreciative of, of people that did that. And uh, probably just, I mean, the whole thing. I think the ceremony to start off, uh, uh, just to have my family out there. And um, yeah, I think when you, you, you start reflecting, I think you thought of, think about all the people that uh, that helped get you here. And it's, it's nice for them to be a part of it. So I'm, I'm, I'm re real happy they can make it. I think it was your sister that mentioned a time where uh, for your Rookie of the Year award, you went to Vegas, you had a wristband that said no drinking, no gambling. Uh, do you remember that moment? Does it feel like a long time ago? <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, especially when I look at Zach Benson and he's uh, yes. he's got the wristband on now. So I think uh, that was you not too long ago. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Some days, yeah. Some days not too long ago. Some days, some days long ago. You are one of the youngest, eleventh, uh, I believe, uh, youngest to hit this milestone. Um, we didn't really ask you this morning. I mean, um, how much? Like, how? Do you have a goal? Like, now that you're this far in, like, do you look at players that are 37, 38, 39 and think, like, this is, you would never say easy, but do you see it as a realistic goal after all this time? I mean, I think every year I go back in the summer, you try and sort of reflect on the year, how you felt and, and what worked for you in the previous summer in terms of training. And then, uh, obviously, when you go through a season, you, you pick up little things that maybe help. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's always kind of been my mindset. I'll just keep keep trying to have that mindset. Is is you got to try and keep keep getting better. And um, these young guys coming to the league, they're 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 better and better. So I think for me, um, trying to improve uh, every year is 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 uh, is the number one thing. Jeff, I remember going to that uh, Bantam uh, um, mentorship program that the NHLPA used to do in Toronto, or your dad used to talk to the parents and the players, and you were there as well. Uh, what are some of the lessons, like your family, your parents, your sisters, everybody around that have uh, kind of talked to you about from the time you were young to even now as a, uh, a grown man playing a thousand game in the NHL? That, that was a long time ago, I think. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, I mean... Yeah, they've been huge. I come from a big family, and uh, um, I've got some great role models in there. And it's it's um, for me. I think they they they're the number one sort of thing in my life, and kind of um, have kind of formed me as a person. I think that uh, sort of you spend the time around them, it sort of it just sort of happens by osmosis. And uh, I'm so grateful for them to uh, sort of lead the way for me, um, show me a good example, be there to support me, um, and then, um, yeah, always show up for me. It's, it's nice to have them here for me for, for tonight. Did you see your dog on the Jobotron saying a, a good message? Congratulations, Dad. I didn't see her, no. no uh, she nice, was though. up there. She was up there. They had the, the subtitles because <laughs> they couldn't just get the uh, the actual wording out. So, uh, <laughs> But it was congratulations, Dad, right underneath. It was great. That's good. She's shy. That's good. That's <laughs> nice. No, I... I I didn't hear it amidst mic'd up. Uh, did, do you know what you might have said when that uh, third period chance went awry? Uh, you were very close to capping the scoring here tonight. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There wasn't much to say. It just I, I kind of got in too tight, I think. And uh, yeah, I, I maybe just laughed. Honestly, I was I was hoping to put that one in. So I, they probably cut it off. I might have sworn or something. So <laughs> it's probably for the best, I guess. Do you remember all the way back to the first goal of your career on nights like this? Oh, uh, my first goal, yeah, um, in L.A., I think. I got drafted there. First games were in Finland, and then we came back and went on a West Coast swing. And uh, it'd been a few games. I was kind of squeezing the stick a little bit, but obviously there's a little bit of a rebound. It just kind of laid right for my stick. I just kind of banged it in. Not, not, not the prettiest goal, but... Uh, yeah, I was pretty excited. I believe Jonathan Bernier was the goaltender of choice yeah. and there, victimizing a, a few of my French buddies there, Jeff. I think you've done that a lot in your career. <laughs> I mean, they keep producing great goalies. They, they just keep coming to the NHL, so maybe they have some good role models back there. First hat trick, of course, with the Sabres was also in that drink against yes. the LA Kings. Jeff, thank you very much, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the milestone night. Thank you, guys.